Welcome to Slavic Folklore and the Tale of Father Frost. This story embodies the essence of kindness, winter's harshness, and Slavic values. It showcases respect for nature, inner strength, and the connection between human actions and natural phenomena. Father Frost's tale remains a cultural cornerstone reflecting wisdom that has sustained Slavic communities for generations. Slavic folklore is rich with tales of supernatural beings, moral lessons, and the power of nature. These stories often feature ordinary people facing extraordinary circumstances, embodying the virtues and values cherished by Slavic cultures. One such tale is that of Father Frost, which begins in a snow-covered Eastern European village. Young Marushka lived under the shadow of her cruel stepmother, alongside her stepsister, Helena. While Helena was pampered and indulged, Marushka was treated as little more than a servant. Despite their shared home, the sisters' upbringings could not have been more different. Helena grew spoiled and selfish, while Marushka developed resilience and kindness in the face of hardship. One bitter winter's day, the stepmother, determined to be rid of Marushka, commanded her to venture into the frozen forest to gather snowdrop flowers. It was an impossible task, for snowdrops only bloomed in spring, but Marushka dared not refuse. With a heavy heart but unwavering spirit, she donned her threadbare coat and set out into the icy wilderness. The wind howled around her, biting at her exposed skin, yet Marushka pressed on. She trudged through snowdrifts that reached her knees, her fingers and toes growing numb with each step. As she ventured deeper into the forest, the trees loomed overhead, their branches laden with snow, creating an eerie canopy that blocked out what little sunlight penetrated the gray sky. Despite the seemingly hopeless nature of her quest, Marushka's determination never faltered. She embodied the Slavic ideal of facing challenges with grace and resilience her inner strength driving her forward through the harsh conditions. As Marushka ventured deeper into the frozen wilderness, the forest's beauty and danger became increasingly apparent. The air was crisp and sharp, filled with the scent of pine and frost. Icicles hung from branches like delicate crystal chandeliers, catching what little light filtered through the dense canopy. Snow crunched beneath her feet, the only sound breaking the eerie silence of the winter forest. As she pushed through a thicket of evergreens, Marushka stumbled into a clearing bathed in an otherworldly blue light. There, standing tall and imposing, was Father Frost himself. His long white beard sparkled with ice crystals, and his eyes held the wisdom of centuries. His presence was both awe-inspiring and terrifying, embodying winter's dual nature, harsh yet fair, destructive yet purifying. Marushka's heart raced, but she stood her ground, knowing that this encounter would be the true test of her character and resolve. Father Frost regarded Marushka with curiosity, his breath creating swirling patterns of frost in the air. He raised his staff and the temperature plummeted further. Icicles formed on Marushka's eyelashes and her breath came out in rapid visible puffs. Are you cold, child? Father Frost asked, his voice rumbling like distant thunder. Despite her shivering, Marushka replied with unwavering politeness, No, Grandfather Frost, I am quite warm. Impressed by her fortitude, Father Frost intensified the cold. Again he inquired about her comfort, and again Marushka responded with kindness and strength. A third time, he unleashed winter's fury upon her, and still Marushka stood firm, her voice never wavering as she assured him of her comfort. Throughout this ordeal, Marushka drew upon an inner well of strength she didn't know she possessed. Her fingers and toes had long since lost feeling, and her lips were blue with cold. Yet her spirit remained unbroken. In these moments of greatest challenge, Marushka's true nature shone through, embodying the virtues most cherished in Slavic folklore. Courage in the face of adversity, respect for the forces of nature, and unshakable kindness. Bull. Impressed by Marushka's unwavering politeness and strength, Father Frost's stern demeanor softened. With a wave of his staff, the biting cold subsided and the clearing filled with warmth. You have proven yourself worthy, dear child, he proclaimed. From thin air, he conjured a magnificent chest adorned with intricate frost patterns. As it opened, Marushka gasped at the sight of precious gems, gold coins, and fine furs. Atop this treasure lay a bouquet of delicate snowdrop flowers, 
their white petals a stark contrast to the winter landscape. Take these gifts, Father Frost said, for you have earned them with your kindness and fortitude. Overjoyed, Marushka thanked him profusely and began her journey home. Meanwhile, upon hearing of Marushka's good fortune, her stepsister Helena demanded to seek similar riches. She ventured into the forest, but when confronted by Father Frost, her responses were rude and impatient. As punishment for her disrespect, Father Frost unleashed a blizzard that left Helena frozen. The stepmother, rushing to find her daughter, met a similar fate. When the spring thaw came, they were nowhere to be found, leaving Marushka to live peacefully in the village, her kindness and bravery remembered for generations to come. The tale of Father Frost has become deeply ingrained in Slavic culture, its narrative echoing through generations. During long winter nights, families gather around crackling fires to recount Marushka's bravery and Father Frost's wisdom. Children eagerly don costumes, embodying the characters and bringing the story to life in vibrant performances. In many Slavic communities, the tradition of leaving offerings for Father Frost persists, with families placing warm clothes or food on windowsills as a gesture of respect and goodwill. Father Frost's character finds parallels in other cultures, such as Santa Claus and Western traditions. Both figures are associated with winter and gift-giving, though their origins and roles differ significantly. While Santa Claus is primarily a benevolent figure, Father Frost's character has evolved over time. Originally, he was an imposing and often dangerous entity in Slavic lore, representing the harsh and unforgiving nature of winter. As Slavic peoples developed better ways to cope with and thrive in cold climates, Father Frost's portrayal gradually softened. He became a more nuanced character, capable of both punishment and reward, reflecting the complex relationship between humans and the winter season. The story's influence extends beyond storytelling, shaping cultural practices and moral teachings. Parents use the tale to instill values of kindness, resilience, and respect for nature in their children. As the world changes, the story of Father Frost adapts, finding new relevance in contemporary issues while maintaining its core message. It serves as a bridge between past and present, preserving ancient wisdom while speaking to the challenges of modern life. Through this enduring tale, Slavic communities continue to reinforce their cultural identity, passing down values that have sustained them through centuries of change. <laughs>